Hey guys, this is me, Ella Burzens. This is my section. How's it going? Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the show so far. Um, I want to talk to you for a bit. Okay? So, uh, I was driving home one time, and I hit a deer. I was driving home, and I hit a rabbit. I turned up my music as loud as I could, it could possibly go, and uh, I parked in the middle of the road and opened all my doors and let the music spread out as much as it could, as it could, as I laid in the middle of the road and I spooned the dying animal, the dead animal, and I, I pulled my car to the side of the road with all the doors still open and I laid spooning the dead rabbit. I was hoping someone would hit me too, so it would be fair, uh, so it would be fair. I hit a little frog on my way back from Dollar General, or I thought I did. It is not fair that I get to do this. It's not fair, it, it's not fair that, that we think, that, that I think I, I could do this, that I could drive my car uh, wherever I want, as quick as I want, and, uh, and little animals, uh, they get hurt. And I, I don't think that's fair. Um, I feel like there, I should get something for that, you know? Like some sort of penalty or something. Um, you know, a uh, shirt uh, tells you like, hustle, hustle, you know? Like hashtag hustle. Just thinking about that. Um, yeah, uh, this is my section. Um, this, this, this video is called uh, Video Checkerboard. I, because it looks kind of like a checkerboard. You can't tell right now that it looks like a checkerboard, but it does. Um, I really like the way this looks. Um, this, is, this is made for me. I made this for me. Uh, this... I made that. Uh, and it's cool because it's like a video, but it's in real life. So it's like tangible. And it shouldn't be tangible because it's like a MP4? But it is, and I can touch it, like, like right here. It's moving around a little bit, but that's Grayson uh, spinning <laughs> around at a park. And uh, that's a county fair right here. Um, this is me in a bathroom. I really like shadows and stuff. That's my hand at an airport and um, a stop sign and a, a beach. Archer at the beach. Archer's here, he's my brother. Big fan of him. Um, that's, a, that's a wing of a plane there. And um, this is a, a different fair. Um, I really like the lights at fairs uh, and stuff like that. I, I just think that it, it's really nice. Um, and to be honest, I have a lot of like I don't know, disdain for this kind of, like, I don't know, electronic stuff like this. Um, but I also love it at the same time, it's really weird. Like, the lights at the fair, like, I, I'm mad at them a little bit because I feel like they're polluting, like, light pollution and stuff, you know? Uh, but I also think they look really nice, so it's, I don't know, it's troublesome, you know? Um, this was made for me, this. <laughs> This video, um, I made it for me. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know, guys. Just check that out. Not ready for the 
future, but I'm also not ready for right now, and I'm also not, not ready for, for, future, not ready for the past to be thinking about it. Not ready for right now. I'm not ready for the future to be thinking about it. Sorry about that. 
Maybe I'll play on a louder one, huh? Put the mic on the speaker. I'm really scared that I won't be able to make all the things that I want to make. Thanks. And that was the highlight of my That was the highlight of my week. Looks. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this looks like so much, man. This is so cool to me. Look at all, look at how many little shadows I can make with just one little hand. Mosaic. I know, right? Can you guys back up just a little bit? Beautiful. Get closer to the thing. There you go. That's perfect. And if I take this, uh, hey, uh, Grace, can you move uh, out of the middle for a second? <laughs> this is something I enjoy. If I take this, I can rotate the, the image. See, look, it gets bigger and it gets smaller. And then I can uh, switch it around like, whoa, whoa. You see that? Here, maybe I need to make it easier to see. Uh, I don't know who that is. Gonna be real. I think that's Brian. Hey, Brian, can you move over a little bit? Which way? To Grayson. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Check this out. Good stuff. Like, dude. 
<laughs> Dude, imagine seeing these in like shrooms or acid. <laughs> That'd be <What> sick. <laughs> It's like science. It's like science.
very much. All right, we're gonna be handing out some menus to you guys. They're going to have uh, a bunch of numbers and words on them, like menus do. Uh, and there is going to be 19 plays that you guys can choose from. And after every play, at the start of the section, you guys will shout out the number of the play that you like the most. Uh, the title of, that is. Uh, whatever just sounds most interesting, shout out the number as loud as you can. Whichever number we hear the loudest, we will perform. And uh, we'll give you the cue in the start. Uh, whenever we shout, NEXT! That's when you guys are going to shout that number at us. Wonderful. tell you guys something. Okay. For this, we'd like you all to say, okay, all right, or any affirmative statement after every sentence. Make sure to make us feel so, accepted. Yeah, you know, I want to feel accepted in this environment. You guys aren't making me feel very welcome right Okay, now. all right. Like that. Um, all right, so I had this dream the other day. All right. And it was, it was about the concept of an elevator. Okay. okay. And I, it wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't in an elevator, and I wasn't even thinking about an elevator. It was just the concept of an elevator. Interesting. I did not see this elevator. I did not. I did not hear this elevator. I was not near the elevator. I was not anywhere. I was not like I had no physical presence in the dream. I was. It was just, the dream was just about another elevator that could exist. The, 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 very, wow. the very idea of an elevator. It's crazy. Cool. You have any dreams like that? No? Well, lately I've been having a lot of dreams that are like battle royale themed. Yeah, um, it kind of sucks, because I get really attached to the characters that, I mean, I'm in the Battle Royale too, just so you know. Um, I'm not hearing a lot of affirmative statements. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, that really helps me feel accepted, I hope you understand. Yeah. Alright. So, people that I become friends with in this Battle Royale situation uh -huh. end up dying. Yeah. And it, it, it's terrible, yeah. And that sucks. And I, I don't know, I just become attached to them, and uh, and also, like, it's weird because I feel like I can't love them too much because I have to compete with them in the end. Right? Yeah. Yes. And I, I went through, like, a month stint of these dreams, uh -huh. um, but they're over now, thank goodness. Yes. Yeah. Does, uh, does anybody else have a, have a dream they'd like to share? Anybody from the audience? Raise your hand. Anybody? Me. Yo, yo. Uh, yeah. Come up here, come up here. Yeah, come, come, come here real quick, come here real quick. Take a seat, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> You want me to feel welcome here? I do. Alright, now, uh, now go ahead and uh, tell us your dream. Take the mic. Thank you. Um, I recently had a really long dream that uh, uh -oh. my friend Taya, she invited me uh, to uh, on a weekend retreat to a Christian water park. Oh. oh. Okay. 
and uh, she asked me to come because she had bought kind of a couple's retreat package with her husband Ryan but he was unable to attend. Come on, Ryan. So I was on a romantic weekend away at a Christian water park with my podcast co-host and cousin, Kaya. Yes. Um, in the end, I, I ultimately felt kind of overwhelmed by all the romantic energy of this weekend getaway. Wow. So I spent the whole dream trying to run away from the Christian water park. Oh. And... Um, I was trying to trying to escape and, and I had an elderly pug and I ultimately I did abandon him at the water park with Taya just so I could get out. What a shame. I know. I know. All right. Next. Thank you very much. Lights on. Lights on. Next. Shout. Shout. I'm here a lot of 16, so, uh, you guys hungry? Yeah! You guys hungry? Yeah, yeah uh... 16 yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 16. Oh, you, you messed it up on Oh, well, uh, Whatever, 16, yeah, 16. I guess is hungry. Pizza, yeah. Alright, so, uh, you guys hungry for some pizza? Yeah! Get some pizza yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, let me go call it in real quick. Uh, no, nah, I'm just going to get some Domino's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that is the best pizza chain, when it's hot, at least. Yeah. When it's cold, it's really bad, but uh, Domino's hot is the best. What? Alright. Stuff crust is okay, but I feel like it's overrated because the cheese isn't, like, real. The cheese is, like, yeah. weird and gross. Alright, let me see it. Nothing's real, real, dude. Like, if you really think about it, we're on a floating rock exactly. in space. So eat the cheese. So eat the cheese, dude. And we're going to have Archer go pick it up. <laughs> Um, what did they say? Uh, yeah, I'd like a large cheese pizza. Tell them the address. Uh, the name will be, uh, Ella Burns. Does it feed 50? And, um, we'll, we can pick it up. You guys are all going to get little slices. Like really small. Pick it up. Or not, actually deliver, deliver, right? Yeah. Um, We're at Art Rat Studios, look it up. Art Rat Studios? All right, studios. Yeah, just put Google Maps. Yeah, Google Maps, Apple Maps won't work. Yeah. They got it? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, then you'll deliver here. All right, all right, great, see you then. Next! Oh, I love Tristan. Where is the, the little thingy for it? Oh my golly, gosh, golly, goodness. Ba 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 what? No to you. Guys, we gotta skip number nine until we find the list. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. 15. 12. 3. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. Oh my god! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's, that's bad. 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 All right, well. Please. If you could, if you would be a doll. Thank you. All right, ready? All right, all right. Yeah. Sully. Sully, get your shit together. Sully. Last night, I put my. My phone in the mailbox like I always do. I, I'm always sure of it. I'm always sure to put my phone in the mailbox before I come in. So it was a big surprise this morning when I saw that my phone was completely drained. Well, I called the phone company and it turns out there was a call made last night at 2 a.m. Now, Soli, I, I don't think that there could have been anyone else that made the call but you, Soli. Why did you make that call? Well, you see, Mike, I was a... Uh... 
I was worried about Randall, you know, um, Randall. he's been sick lately, and uh, I just wanted to call him to check up on him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been really nothing personal. I don't know why I think you called Randall. I think you told him, Sully, not to hire me. No, Mike, um, no, I, listen, I was so happy for you when you got that job in the mailroom at Monsters, Inc. That's it, just keep, keep old Mikey in the mailroom, huh? That's all he's fit for. Oh, no. Just old slipping Mikey, huh? No, no, Mikey, listen, don't take it personally, but you're not a real scammer. You're not. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want you to get hurt. I got you some of those yogurts you like. Some Freezy Pops, some Tyson's frozen chicken, and a couple of those 10 gallon hats. And uh, give me a week. But after that, we're done! We're done, Sully! Okay. <laughs> Next! Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Nice! Well. Wow. All right, we're going to do another Tristan now. We found a lot of this. We found them. All right. Love you, Tristan. Love you, too. All right, guys, so uh, this is a little bit of a uh, group effort, uh, us and Tristan. So Tristan, I don't know if you know, but he took care of us when we were in the room for three days. He fed us, he watered us, he uh, pruned our branches when they grew too much. Um, and uh, over the course of the time there, we wrote a few letters to him, as he was the only person we could contact. Mm. You ready? Yeah, go, go. Before this letter was sent, I gave Grayson and Ella two microwave dinners. One with turkey, peas, and mashed potatoes. And one with chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and a brownie. Also, spicy sweet chili Doritos. Perfect. Oh, 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 sweet Tristan. Our benevolent God. We love and adore you, sweet Tristan. Your face is made of gold. And your hair is made of the finest silk. <laughs> oh, Tristan, how you bless us every day! I lick your shoes clean! <laughs> you are so gracious and generous, giving us beautiful food every sunrise and sunset. We look into your eyes and see candy canes, <laughs> dancing children, and diamonds. We would bigly love for you to twinkle at us and bless us! Forever and ever will you be gigantic and glorious, bountiful ladies surround you and chant out, Tristan, we love and adore you! This is our land's win! Oh, the mountaintops sing for you! The rooftops sing for you! We wish for thousands of mouths to cover you and shout out praises and lick those shoes clean. You are the kindest and most noble, and you love watching slash finishing Twin Peaks with me. Um, Tristan, when you step outside your door, the sun shines for you. Tristan, you are the light in this dark, dark room. Uh, letter number two. Uh, before this letter, I gave Grayson and Ella circus peanuts, and they started squishing them and shoving them under the door. When I saw them and kicked them back into the room, they got very mad. Dear evil, stupid, every step you take makes babies and puppies cry. I sincerely hope you feel the fire of 1,000 suns. May you wilt and rot, much like the flowers near you so often do. Why do you treat us so cruelly? We have adored you and given you many gifts. <laughs> you are wretched and evil, you dastardly and evil. We hate you, and you, and to part of you, the, the hell is handwriting, and have the, and everything you have ever done. You are the stub of my shoes. You are the riot in the streets. You are hellish. You are nothing to me. I'm so fucking angry, dude. This relationship is turning toxic. I hope your eyes turn to brick, and that mice eat you and your ladies, and your ladies. May fire become in and on you. Die, die, die. If we saw you on the street, we would spit on your eyes and step on your shoes and beat you to a pulp. You are like Cruella from the movie Cruella, which was a bad movie that sucked. Tristan, I turn you into a little ant and step on you because I don't care about you. Tristan, 
we cut you open and feed your insides to Kenny, Patrice, and uh, Bartris. Those are the deer that were, we had pictures of on the wall. Um, Tristan, I put you in my pocket and squish the pocket. I care about, uh, care about you, Tristan. Uh, I drive off a cliff and I don't let it jump out in time. There's more. But you do not go out in time. And that is because you are a stupid Tristan, I ask you to hold a one pound weight and it crushes you. Tristan, I will deliberately become a vampire and go to your house uh, and kill you in my vampire powers. But I do not think you a vampire. <laughs> Tristan, I walk right over you because you are so small and insignificant to me. I grant you immortality and then I release you into the cold vacuum of space forever and ever. I hold a magnifying glass onto your head, and your head explodes. Tristan, you are so small, but one day I make you so big, and it go wrong, your feet are way too gigantic, like giant scary hobbit, and nobody take, like a like, gigantic scary hobbit, and nobody date you ever again. You are nothing! Signed, cool and awesome. Uh, the third letter. Grayson and Ella woke up the next day in a cold sweat and they were very hungry. Oh. <sighs> Dearest Tristan, after recent events, sleep, we have reconsidered our position on you. Perhaps we were too cruel? Judgmental? We have now forgiven you, Tristan. You should be grateful to have our mercy. At the door should be a picture of a toad cop, which we drew for you. This is a symbol of our gratitude. Please return it immediately. Tristan, we are hungry. We are starving here. Our rations have run out. Our peanuts are almost out. We are so cold in this room, Tristan. So cold. We are shivering and wasting away. Tristan, this is our darkest hour. Tristan, we need you. We pray that you, with many cloaks, share one with us. Don't tell Grayson this, but I ate a bit of his hair last night. <laughs> the grease gave me nutrients, but I fear we don't have much longer. Everything is cold. Everything is broken. Everything is filthy. The trash piles up, but our stomachs grow no fatter. We are so alone. Please, Tristan, forgive us our trespasses against you, as we forgive those who trespass against us. The final letter. Grayson and Ella began to smear different objects on printer paper and shove them out of the door, such as barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, circus peanuts, and chocolate. I threw them back into their room and they got very angry. Also a stranger, Dylan Watersnake, was visiting. Tristan, you are evil. You make our lives nothing but pain. We hope you fall in a big pit. You will never return from the pit. It, uh, <clears throat> thousands of tigers await you in the pit, but you will never die. You will feel your body de decomposing, but you will feel all the pain, all of it. You will feel truly alone. You will be in hell. Hell, Tristan! <laughs> thousands of years from now, you will feel millions of deaths every second. Your brain will deteriorate uh, when you uh, have no knowledge of the past, no awareness of the future. You will know nothing but indescribable pain. And nothing will ever stop it. Forever and ever and ever. But Dylan Watersnake, Dylan Watersnake, you are a beacon of light and hope in this dark room to fathom your uh, mag magnificence. Even, uh, for even a modicum of a second would be you drive only... Any man mad. Any man. Sorry, my handwriting is like really bad and it got worse in the room. <laughs> in your presence, we are holy. Oh, light bringer, what have we done to deserve you? It is by a strange twist of fate that you bless us today, and we are forever and ever grateful. Go forth in peace. We love you, Dylan Watersnake. P.S. Uh, fuck you, Tristan. <laughs> Next, 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 next. Five, three, five, three, two, one. Oh, oh, we got The pizza's here, guys.
guys, one second. Pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. They found us. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Here, let's get this. Just come here for a second. I'm sorry. We'll get you right back to your job. Yeah. Hi. Ella, Ella Burzins? Who's, who's Ella Burzins here? Well, that's me, that's me. Oh. Um, so, uh... Listen, you all know the pizza, huh? Okay. Yeah. Listen, buddy, how much did they pay you for that little puss, huh? Well, you know, about $12 an hour, you know? $12 an hour, you only know? Decent wage. These people here, these are all, you know, you might think this is a pretty small show, but these are just our Patreon donors, actually. These are all just uh, people going out to our Patreon donors. I love people. Well, each, each of our normal shows usually makes a few milli. Um, I was wondering, you know, I call you a gym. Yeah. Can you open your mouth a little bit? Okay, yeah, you're fed. Um, I was thinking maybe you want to join the crew? Doomsday X3? Doomsday X3, you say? Yeah. You know, I'm liking the sound of this. We do need a third member. Listen, Domino's doesn't pay you much, does it? Does it pay you at all? It's starting, to, it's starting to, to, to feel a little bit of remorse for them, you know, like a little bit of hatred towards them. You hate Domino's now? I've hated them for a long time. <laughs> Come on, what do you say you join us, huh? You know, I'm in. All right! <laughs> Take your seat. Take your seat, King. Next! I'm hearing five. I'm hearing, I'm hearing five. five as well. <laughs> All right, doomsday for mayor, 2022 to forever. All right, All right help helpers, get on stage. Yep, yep, yep. Play that audio. Are you ready? All right. You know what? This city's going to shit. And I'm the only guy who says who's safe. I'm the only guy who's safe. See this. Now, that is why I am announcing that Grayson Hendrix is running for mayor in 2024. That's right. That's right. All right. Now, you might wonder, what's my plan? Why well, vote for me? Now, listen. I will blow up the Talmud. I will just it will be completely demolished, and it will be replaced with a like few hundred-story gothic castle in which only I will live, okay? You will hire the Chinese government to make weather machines, all right? Pass out those images, huh? Get those images, pass them out. Um, now, we're going we're gonna to have weather machines to make it constantly thunderstorming around my castle at all times, and we release thousands, nay, tens of thousands of COVID-infected bats into the sky to Please on the citizens of Verona. And next thing we're gonna do, completely get rid of the Roanoke police. There's no more police, but instead the Roanoke military, that's right, we're going to completely fund the Roanoke military, military parades every day down Campbell Avenue. We will have tanks, we will have guns, we will have bombs, warplanes, we will go to war with Salem! We are will nuke Salem! Whoa! Whoa! We will randomly perform acid attacks on Roanoke citizens in major populated centers. You're gonna get acid attack, all of you! And you might be asking me why. Why would you do that? They're your own citizens. Well, I tell you, I tell you this. You guys are not alert enough. You're not on your toes enough. You're not awake enough. Where's your rage? Where's your rage? Ah. Sorry, I get excited sometimes. Uh, oh, I don't shy. I don't shy. Okay, okay, next thing we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start uh, dumping all of the half of the work project goes to the military. The other half goes to buying Paris Hilton NFTs, all right? We're gonna buy the entire Paris Hilton NFT collection. It's gonna be great, we'll make so much money for the city. Uh, I will let you go in the sewers. I will just remove the manholes there. You can just crawl in them now. I will make Bruno the movie the way Pinocchio the movie, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you vote for me, I will start listening to emo rock. Um, we're gonna only announce the official enemies of Roanoke now. Enemies of Roanoke. Uh, Dana Bowers, enemies of Roanoke. Sherman Lee, enemies of Roanoke. All current sitting members of city council. Uh, Daniel Crandall. Um, uh, where's some other people? Um, just anybody that's in the House of Delegates right now, we're just gonna get rid of them. We're gonna get rid of them. No more, no more. <laughs> I wanna say you guys. 
Oh man, I'm gonna unban myself from Dickens of the Christmas. They banned me. I'm gonna lie myself back. Uh, I deserve it. I deserve it. Um, that's why I'm asking you guys. Vote for me. 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 Please 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 tragic event. We're not in a show anymore. This is a funeral. Okay? Over here is the stage area. Behind me is the casket. You guys are the funeral going public. Um, some of you are paid to be here to mourn. Some of you are genuine. I will not name who is who. Turn down the music just a tad. Alright. I'm giving a eulogy. Okay? Let us begin. My Uncle Gary was a great man. One of the greatest men, some would say. Um, he taught me how to ride a bike when I was just six. When my dad was in the hospital. And I thanked him for that a lot, but I should have thanked him more, because now he's dead. And I'm really sad about that. I'm also sad because that was not the first time that my dad was in the hospital, nor would it have been the last. The second time my dad was in the hospital, Uncle Gary taught me how to ride a bike. Well, because the first time he actually taught me how to ride a tricycle, there were two steps up. Um, yeah, it, it was really nice of him, and I always, I always felt very uh, grateful for his presence in my life. Um, and when my dad was in the hospital for uh, the third time, and I had to go get groceries for my family. I rode a bike to the grocery store, um, which Uncle Gary taught me how to ride. Um, and that was nice of him, once again. I realize most of the things about him are involving bikes now. But I, I didn't write any of this down. I'm sorry guys, it's just really hard on me. But he, um, he he's gone now. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, um, and I thank him a lot, uh, for teaching me. The thing is, he's dead! You're a dead man! You're a dead man, Uncle Gary! You're dead! You'll never be alive again! You're dead! performance, Doomsday X3. Uh, after the funeral, I'm doing a show. Maybe you guys should come. Uh, yeah, I'm just workshopping right now. Um, honestly, I kind of hated Uncle Gary, if I'm being real. He never taught me how to ride a bike, actually. No, when I was like, I need to learn how to ride a tricycle, because I'm a little baby. You know what he did to me as a little baby? He kicked the tricycle and stomped on it a bunch of times, because he hates me and hates everyone. That's right, I tricked all you guys. You thought he was a good man? He wasn't. Never was. Fuck Gary. I hate him. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't ride a bicycle to go to the grocery store when my dad was in the hospital. No, I took public transit. Why? Because he never taught me how to ride a bike either. That's right. He's stupid. I hate him. So, come to my show, Dooms X3. Um, it's after this, is like two hours after. It's a there's a seven show at eight. Um, yeah, it's... Anyway, guys, uh... I don't know if anyone else wants to say something about him. 
I wouldn't if I were you. There's not much to say about him, really, so. Next! Oh, uh, wait, one quick thing. I will say that we're getting kind of late, so we're going to do like two more of them wrap up. Really? It's like 10 and 10. So, let's just do two more. Okay. All right. Uh, second to last one. Come on. Shout some numbers at us. I mean, they only want to see three. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, all right. Number three, the Milsher Auction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present to you this wonderful shirt. All right. Now, this shirt was made in the room. Now, some context for this shirt. Now, take a look at it. Give a good look. Give a good look. It says granola on it. Um, now, you might wonder, why, why does it say granola? Now, that's because while we were in the room, uh, Tristan threw a bag of granola on us, and it got everywhere in our hair, in our bed, in the carpet, uh, for the whole, the whole time. And uh, to display our misery, we made this great, wonderful t-shirt, and it was not good enough to sell. So we unfortunately cannot take any money for this. So we're wondering if you want my to auction off other things? I don't know. Uh, Lace of the Nami. Any offers? Any offers? A rock? A rock? Alright, I like that. I like that. Can anybody best that? Can anybody best a rock? Yeah, uh, the man in the back holding up the thing. Huh? The menu. The menu? Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, anybody else can help that? We got a partially beer. A partially? That's well, yeah, well. Jolly Rancher. Well, oh, Jolly Rancher. Jolly, well, yeah, that's. Mm. A cup of beer. A cup of beer. Yeah, that's. Don't see me drink out of it. Yeah, alright. Uh, any other offers? Any other offers? I, yeah, I'm gonna go for that Jolly Rancher uh, too. So, uh, hand that lucky lady your prize there. Uh, receive our payment. And, uh, next! Six! Six? Six? All right, this is gonna be our last one. No, it's not. Who told us we could go to 10.30, so we have a couple more. Oh, okay, we got ready to like a couple more to, to 10.30. We, we also want to have time to wrap up. I hate you. Okay, okay. Yeah, where is the... Now, for the acclaimed return of the hit uh, show, Watermelon Smash! Put your hands together for smashing a watermelon! Louder! This is Watermelon Smash 2, so twice as loud as last time. Three, two, one. Yeah! Let me get some of that. Or two. 
No. <laughs> All right, is this is Doomsday's furniture? Doomsday's special one. Um, uh, we have a lot of playing for this one. Ella, why don't you start us off? Alright guys, um, <laughs> this one, um, um, come on. Are we really done the show here? Oh, Ella, come on. I don't want to end the show. Ella, I mean, it's just, it's just We have a couple more that were so good and I don't know if we can do them. Come on, we've been fluid for a while, Ella. Longer though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't, don't, don't oh, I don't think they like it. Uh -oh. oh, I think they like it. I, like it. I got oil in my eye. I got oil in my eye. It's all over my face. They do, they do, they do. I just. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Start the play, start the play. Sorry guys, I'm getting nervous. Um, the play is about, um, the play is about, uh, um, I'm sorry, hold on one second. Actually, I guess uh, one and a half, really. Uh, so first off, uh, I'd like to uh, you to imagine something. I'm Walter White. Uh, she's Jessie, all right? <laughs> From the hit show Breaking Bad. Right. Right. Jessie, Jessie, you're like a blowfish. Jessie, consider, like 
A bullfish is small. You're small. Say, say I'm small. <laughs> I'm small, Mr. White. Now, now consider this. A bullfish is small, but but when when the predator gets close, it spikes up. And you want to know who messes with the bullfish, Jesse? I don't know, Mr. White. No one. Now say it, Jesse. Say I'm a bullfish. I'm a bullfish. Louder. I'm a blowfish. Louder still! I am a blowfish! Alright, that's gonna be like a fair Walter White, Jesse. Um, yeah! Okay, this one, uh, I'm a Riddler, and uh, she's Batman. Hey, I'm the Batman. <laughs> really, uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> this way. This way. Do you like me? No. No! Oh! It's not how it's supposed to go! No! I'm Batman. It's the Riddler. I really liked that movie. It was sick. Edward Nigma, they should have made my name that in the movie! That's, uh, that's, uh, the thing. Uh, did you say something? Uh, what? All right. One final thing. We unknowingly did a raffle tonight, and we're going to quickly announce the winner. Now, this is determined by a name tag, so you have to have a name tag to be entered in this raffle. And according to my notes, the winner is... A what if a Goomba smoked weed? Whoever has the what if a Goomba smoked weed tag, come on up here. Who is that? Who is that? Get out of someone. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, all right. Now, I'm going to give this person a very special prize. Now, I'll let you just stand here and do nothing while I give them that prize. I'll be back in just a jiffy. All right. Come on, come on. Come on. We'll be back. We'll be back. Just one second. <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming. We have t-shirts on.